Trust your first impression. What do you imagine there? What's the first thing you see in your mind's eye? Sunshine. Sunshine. Sun. Mm -hmm. The sun. Tell me more. It's warm. Mm -hmm. The sun is warm. Use all of your senses and let's find out where it is that you are. Are you indoors? Or are you outdoors? It's a beach. It's a beach. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The water is tur turquoise. And the water is turquoise. Mm -hmm. How is this water acting? Is it calm? Is it moving? Mm -hmm. It's calm. It's calm. Mm -hmm. There's birds. Where do you see these birds? Above the water. Mm -hmm. What are those birds doing above the water? Just flying. Just flying. Very good. What else do you see there? Look around you. Hmm. What's beyond the beach? There's a village. There's a village. Describe this village for me. Grass, grass huts. Grass huts. Grass, like long grass. Mm -hmm. How many do you see? Hmm. Are there many? Or just yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any people. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at these huts and the beach, do you feel you have a body there? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely into that body and take a look at, down at your feet. What do your feet look like? It's bare feet. Bare feet. Mm -hmm. Are these large or small feet? What do they look like? Medium. Medium. Mm -hmm. Are they male or female feet? Female. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How are you dressed there? Mm. A dress. A dress. Cotton. Cotton dress. Long hair. Long hair. What color is this hair? Brown. Mm -hmm. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. How old do you feel there? Twenties mm -hmm. or maybe a little younger. Mm -hmm. So where it is it that you're mm -hmm. doing in this place today? Mm. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. Do you have anything in your hands? No. No. So let's find out a little bit about you. Where do you live? I live here, but there's no people. There's no people. 
How do you feel about no people being there? I want you to go inside of your emotions and find out. Sad. Sad. Let's find out what happened to the people. I want you to close this scene and go back in time to find out what happened to the people. Be there now. It was the water. Mm hmm. What happened? It washed. It washed over everything. Mm hmm. Were you there when you saw it? Tell me what it looks like. It's kind of, it's kind of filling it up. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. When I came back, there was nobody there. How do you feel about that? I relax, but I feel sad. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens next. What do you do now? I'm asking for help. Mm -hmm. But I'm just waiting. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to accelerate that scene and let's find out what happens after you ask for help. What do you see? What do you do? I'm above the village. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. Do you take anything with you? There's nothing to take. Mm -hmm. So take me on this journey with you, and let's see what you find along the way. Describe to me what you do and where you go. We're looking for a place. It's another place with water, but there's forest. What do you see there? Fish mm -hmm. and trees. Mm -hmm. Are you still by yourself? Or are there others there? There's others here, but I don't see them. Mm -hmm. So what do you do there? I'm going to find them. <laughs> what happens next? I found the village. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to talk to them. 
Why is that? It's not my village. Mm -hmm. How do they make you feel? Scared. Mm -hmm. It's you... loud. It's loud? Mm -hmm. Was your village peaceful? Mm -hmm. Quiet? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what's different about these people? The drums. Drums. Do they scare you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens. They take me in, but they want to find out about me. Mm -hmm. Do you speak the same language? No. Mm -hmm. What happens? One person helps me. Mm -hmm. Is it a male or a female? Yes, a male. Mm -hmm. He has paint and a spear. Mm -hmm. And he's important. Mm -hmm. He doesn't let them hurt me. Is he your protector? Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this man's eyes. The eyes are the window to your soul. Do you recognize those eyes? No. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? What do you do in this village? Working, working, whatever work needs to be done. Mm -hmm. But they don't accept me. Because mm -hmm. I'm different. What makes you so different? I look different. Mm -hmm. My skin and my hair and my eyes. Mm -hmm. What's different about your appearance from theirs? They have, they have dark skin and dark eyes. Mm -hmm. What does your skin look like? It's light. Mm -hmm. Bright. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else important in that scene? No. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's move forward to another important scene in that same lifetime when something has impacted your life. Be there now. We're on a hill. Mm -hmm. And I can't stay there any longer. Are you by yourself? I'm with the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he going with you? No, he says. And he will help me. What do you do? <sighs> He's building a fire. Mm -hmm.
What is the purpose of the fire? It's for me. Mm hmm. Will you be living on that? <sighs> will you be staying there? No. It's f I will be in the fire. Mm hmm. But I understand. What happens to you? He tells me I won't feel the pain. And it gives me something to drink. Mm -hmm. It's hot, but I don't feel it. Mm -hmm. As I'm above it. Mm -hmm. So as you view this scene from above, as this, your spirit sees this scene, <sighs> tell me what happens. The people are surrounding it. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? The village. Mm -hmm. And you could feel and hear what they're thinking. What do they think? They're happy. Mm -hmm. Why are they happy? Because they think that's helping them. Mm -hmm. That's helping them for me to be on the fire. Mm -hmm. And as you look at that lifetime now from a different perspective, you'll know the reason for it. What was the purpose of living that lifetime? <sighs> to see there's no difference. No difference in what? No difference. I'm the same as them. Mm -hmm. What lesson did you learn from that lifetime? Acceptance. Acceptance. Very good. So I'd like for you now to continue on your journey, on this soul's journey. Close that lifetime behind and let's continue. And let's find another place and another time that is affecting you now, another lifetime that has impacted you. You'd go drifting and floating through time and space. Drifting through time and space. Where are you now? I'm a child. I'm a child. Tell me more. In the city. Mm-hmm. It's cold. Are you male or female? Male. Mm-hmm. How are you dressed? I have a hat. Mm-hmm. What year is this? 1800s, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or are you with others? There's others. Lots of children. Mm -hmm. What's the occasion today? Where are you? We live there. We live there. Tell me more. You say it's cold. Are you dressed warm? Shorts. Mm -hmm. But the cap keeps me warm. Mm -hmm. What do you do in the city? I'm 
working. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Delivery. Mm-hmm. And run errands. Mm-hmm. Do you like doing this? It's something to do. Mm-hmm. Who do you work for? But people aren't very nice. Mm-hmm. How they how do they treat you? They're mean. Mm-hmm. But I don't have any parents. But there's a keeper. He takes care of the children. Mm-hmm. How many children live with you? There's a lot. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what it is that you, where it is that you live. I'd like for you to close that scene and see the place where you live. Describe this place for me. It's like a courtyard. Like a courtyard. Mm -hmm. The buildings are there. But we don't really live in the buildings. Where do you live? In the courtyard. In the courtyard. Where do you sleep? Right there. Mm-hmm. Well, let's find out who is your keeper. What does he look like? He's skinny. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. He tries to take care. Mm-hmm. But it's dangerous. Why is that? Thieves. Thieves and bad people. Mm-hmm. Like but he, uh huh. He guides us. He guides you. How old are you? Four. Four years old? What do they call you? Thomas. Thomas. So Thomas, let's find out what happened to your parents. I'd like for you to close that scene and go back in time. And let's see what happened to your parents. was a fire and they couldn't get out. Some children are the same, from the same building. Mm-hmm. We're like siblings now. Mm-hmm. How were you saved, Thomas? I wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Where were you? I was with my aunt. Mm -hmm. Why does your aunt not take care of you, Thomas? She didn't want to be bothered. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I don't care. Mm -hmm. As we're all together. Mm-hmm. Very good. So, Thomas, let's close that scene and now let's move forward in time to where you're older. And something is happening to impact your life. Where are you? I'm trying to help the younger ones. Mm-hmm. How old are you? Thirteen. Mm-hmm. What do you do to help them? 
I get food. Wherever I can find it. Mm-hmm. Usually I steal it. Mm-hmm. But I know where to get it. Are you good at that? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm fast. They don't see me. Mm-hmm. So what happens on this day, Tom? Thomas? can't get back there. What happens? Somebody's got me. And I'm worried about the children. Who's got you, Thomas? It's a man. Mm-hmm. What happens next? He wants me to work for him. But I don't want to. But he puts a chain on my arm. So I can't leave. next he just come back for a long time what happens to you Thomas see myself there. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go back to that moment when your body separated from the spirit. See what happened. What happened to you? I just wasted away. Mm -hmm. You left me there. Did you waste away from hunger? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you starved to death. Mm-hmm. What did you learn about that lifetime? <sighs> Not to trust. Not to trust. What was the purpose of living that life? be more discerning. Mm -hmm. So how is that lifetime affecting Lee now? Is it affecting her decisions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell her how. Mostly not following through. Mm -hmm. Why does she not follow through? Because she doesn't trust. Mm -hmm. It seems that in both lifetimes, she was betrayed. She was betrayed by the ocean as it took away 
her family. She was betrayed by those that she found, burning her body. And she was betrayed once again by the fire, taking away her family again. And betrayed once more. Why is she why is she repeating this pattern? She, she needs to learn strength. She needs to learn strength. So in both lifetimes that you showed her, the elements took away what she loved. Yes. Is there anything that she is repeating in this lifetime in which something is taken away from her? Not connecting? Mm-hmm. Not connecting with people? And source. Mm, not connecting with source. Why is she not connecting with source? She doesn't trust. She doesn't trust. Does she feel that she's been betrayed by source before? Yes. Mm -hmm. What other patterns is she repeating in this lifetime? Is there anything that those lifetimes mean for her? Or is source the main issue? She wants to hold on. She wants to hold on. Is this why she's holding on to all that clutter in her house? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does that clutter mean for her? Are her things that she holds on to, are those like a safety net for her? She lost everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to hold on to that anymore? Now that she understands why she's holding on to it. No. So let's see what it would look like for her to begin to remove some of that clutter from her life. What is that? Feels good. Feels good. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and see yourself removing that clutter and feel it in your body. What it feels like as you remove these things that hold you down. Feels better. Mm -hmm. Feels better. So I'd like to ask for a guide on her behalf to help her on this project of clearing clutter from her house. What else is she holding on to? <sighs> emotions. Emotions. Let's find out what those emotions are. Let's, let's do a scan of her body and see what emotions she's holding on to. find out the source of that sadness. I'd like for you to focus on that sadness and begin repeating it in your mind. 
until a picture comes of the origin of that sadness. Follow it all the way. Let's find out the memory of that sadness. Is it this lifetime or a different lifetime? No family. No family. Mm-hmm. What lifetime are we talking about? Many. So she has lived many lifetimes without family. And now she could focus on the fact that she has a family. Does she need to hold on to the sadness any longer, knowing that she created a beautiful family? And not only did she create a beautiful family, but she has brought in many of those souls that didn't have families themselves. Can we show her that she once again in this lifetime took on the job of Thomas to bring those souls and take care of them? I want you to show her the souls that came into her life. Were these the same children that she left behind? Some of them. Can she understand now that that's what she was doing? She was continuing that same job. Do we need to carry this sadness as a badge anymore? No. So I'm going to put my hand over your chest, and I want you to go ahead and give me all of that sadness that no longer fits the job that you're doing. Now knowing that you have a place to live, that you have a family of your own, and you have the ability to do the same thing that you're parents did, you could always bring in more and more of these lost souls that have no families to be able to give them the love, the shelter, the food that you always wanted to give them in that lifetime that you weren't able to finish. Give me all that sadness. You don't need to carry this weight any longer. And tell me when I have it all. And let's send that now to the universe. Now in that space, there's a lot of vacancy. What would we like to fill that vacant space with? So I'm going to put my hand over your chest and let's put a lot of happiness and joy in there. Feel that flowing through all of the cells of your body. Feel the sadness being replaced by this happiness. You can imagine whatever you need to imagine to represent happiness. Fill it all in there. Feel it flowing through your body. I'm going to tap your forehead and let's seal that in. Very good. How does that feel? Very good. Very good. So now that we understand now where this all came from, she has questions about her life. Not only about the clutter, but she wants to know what she came here for. What was the reason she came to this planet, this incarnation? She wants to help those with the sadness. She wants to help those with the sadness. Is she doing that job? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me that this is something that she didn't fulfill in that lifetime. Is that true? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what can she do to help those with the sadness? Because it seems to me that when she is with those with the sadness, she takes their sadness on. Does she need to carry everybody's sadness? No. Very good. So what can you tell her now would be a better way for help, her to help those with sadness without making herself sad. Play. Play. What does she need to play at more? Be joyful. Be joyful. Mm -hmm. 
What else? Listen. Listen. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Sing and dance. Sing and dance. Very good. So when she's doing these joyful things, does it allow the sadness to stick to her? No. Mm -hmm. and I know she deals with teenagers who think it's kind of crazy to be singing and dancing. How should she react when they say, oh, mom? Just laugh. Just laugh. Very good. So it seems to me that that's the most important thing for her to be doing at this time, isn't it? Being yes. joyful? Good. So what else would you like to tell her? Because she seems to be of service to people at this time, taking their sadness. What else does she need to be doing during this special time of ascension? Breathing. Breathing. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to her what that means? Focus mm -hmm. on the breathing. Focus on the breathing. Well, she tells me she has a hard time meditating. Probably even focusing on the breathing is kind of annoying. What's the best way for her to begin now to focus on her breathing? practice. So would you tell her she knows she, she would know best coming from you? What is the best way for her to practice breathing? What should she be doing? Just repeat. Mm -hmm. More often. Just repeat more often. Okay. Can I ask for a guide for that assistance, please? To remind her? To breathe, to stop and breathe for a while? Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Now, she's had difficulty with friendships in her family. What's causing all of this? Distance. Distance. Physical distance or emotional distance? Emotional. Emotional. What's causing the emotional distance? Fear of loss. Mm -hmm. Now, is this loss from other lifetimes? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we've seen that this is what we've been working on today. Do you think that in the future, she could take on a friendship, understanding that friendships come and go. She's not going to lose them. Yes. They continue. Good. And she says that she's had friendships with some people in her lives, that they come and they go. And she kind of misses them. What's the best way to reconnect with these, these souls again? Are they meant to be? In Understand life? they're mm -hmm. finished. Understand that they're finished? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like an expiration date. Served. She served her purpose. She served her purpose. Okay. Okay, good. Do you think that Lee's going to understand that? <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So she has some issues with her heart. She says her heart needs to be open more. She's had situations, relationships that have hurt her heart. Can you take a look at her heart and take, see what it looks like? Guarded. Guarded. Let's find out what's guarding her heart. Take a look at her heart and see what, how she keeps that heart guarded. That doors are closed. The doors are closed. Mm -hmm. How thick are these doors? Not very thick. 
Not very thick, okay. So why is it that she's keeping her heart closed? Let's take a look and see what caused her to shut those doors. It's the sadness. It's the sadness. So can we see that the sadness has already vacated the premises? And she's still keeping a closed door. Does that make any sense? She can open it now. She can open it now. All right. So what would we like to use? Would we like to use a key or something more dramatic to open those doors? Yes, a key. A key. All right. So she's had that key within herself the whole time. Yeah. Where is she keeping that key? In her shoe. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and bring that key out. And let's go ahead and open those doors. How does that heart look inside? Looks good. Mm-hmm. Do we need those doors any longer? So let's find the screwdriver and let's begin dismantling those doors. We don't need to keep that heart closed anymore. So let's find a nice quick screwdriver and let's begin pulling those doors off. And I'm going to ask for Archangel Michael to come forward and go ahead and take those doors from her. She doesn't need those anymore. And go ahead and begin to expand that heart and feel the love as it pulsates now. Tell me how that feels. It's big. It's big. Beautiful. So now what can she do with her love? Enjoy. Enjoy. She wants to be able to bring more abilities online. And now with an open heart, how will that affect her abilities? They will come. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, she wants to be able to know a little bit about herself, her healing work, the changes that are coming, how to prepare for them. Can you tell her about what's to come in the future for her? She will be helping. She will be helping. Well, she seems to have been helping already. Yes. How can she help more? Doing her work. Mm -hmm. So can you explain to her what her work is? What did she come here to do? Release the sadness. Release the sadness. Mm -hmm. So as she goes through life, does she actually have to work with people? Or is she some sort of like a filter that takes sadness from people and releases it from them? What does she do? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I would like for you to go ahead and show her her superpowers and explain to her how it is that she uses this healing. She can do it through her heart. Mm -hmm. Now. Now she can. It's open. So can you show her in her mind's eye what it would work like if someone has is sad near her, what would it look like in the non-physical world? The light, the light does the work. Okay. Would you tell her where that light is and what color it is? It's pink. It's pink. Mm -hmm. So what it is, how does she work with that light? Mm -hmm. So she needs to touch the person? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what happens when she touches them? The joy, the joy watches the sadness 
The joy washes the sadness. Very good. So that's why she has to keep dancing and singing and keeping her vibration high so that she has good reserves and escrow of joy to give to others? Yes. Mm, good. Good. Can we remind her of that? That that is the reason why she must maintain herself in that high vibration. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And can you tell her how she can help heal herself? She says that she's... Be in joy. Be in joy. Mm -hmm. So all of these health issues that she's had, what's caused them? Sadness. Sadness. Mm -hmm. So take a look at her body now. What does it look like now? Better. Better. Very good. So what can make her body even better? The breathing. Mm -hmm. So does she just go around life not breathing that much? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Kind of. She just has to be more focused on her breathing? Yes. Okay. Good. And part of this health, he, healing and being healthy is food. She's having a battle with food. She just needs to eat lighter. Eat lighter. Is she eating too heavy? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't know what to eat. She doesn't know what best to choose for herself, for her family. The supplements, gluten, no gluten, sugar, no chocolate. What should, she, what should her diet look like? Fresh. Fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh food. Yes. Does that include bread? Because she was thinking, should she even bake sourdough bread? Mm -hmm. What about fermented foods? Are they helpful? Yes. Okay. They're alive. They're alive. Okay. So can I ask on her behalf for a chef, for a nutritional expert, <laughs> that when she goes to eat something, he or she will immediately whisper in her ear and tell her, Yay or nay? Can we ask for that, please? Sure. Mm -hmm. So that she can now use not only her breath, but her inner guidance to connect with those that will guide her in eating healthy so that she can help other people also and feed her own family the best foods. Can we ask for that? Yes. Very good. Very good. It's and done. It's done. Good. And talking about this connection, how can she connect best with you, her higher self? With the breath. With the breath. So when she breathes, how does she connect with you? In the stillness. In the stillness. Go ahead and show her that now. Mm-hmm. Very good. So as she connects with you using the breath, how does she receive her guidance? Listen. Listen. Mm-hmm. Well, she plans on doing some introspective hypnosis class, classes in the future, a class. So how can she use this breath, this connection with her higher self? in order to help others. 
sink. Sink it up. Sink, sink it the up. breath. Sink the breath with, with her clients. Yes. Mm -hmm. This hypnosis class, is this good for her? Is this a good choice for yes. her? Mm -hmm. Will she be able to release the sadness in others when yes. she's doing that? Good. So when she's doing this, will she be brought clients that are yes. similar to her? That she can help? Yes. Very good. Do you have anything else to tell her about that? Not to worry. Not to worry. Good. She's in good hands. Yes. Very good. She, talking before about diet, she wants to know a little bit about structured water. She's very thankful that they have that in her lives. What else can she do with that? What will be beneficial? Shower. Shower with it. What does the structure do do to the body? Cleanse. Mm -hmm. Purify. Raise the vibration. Raises the vibration. Good. So while she's in the shower cleansing, she should also dance and sing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. How can you improve her financial situation? By being in joy. Mm -hmm. When one is in joy, how does that attract money? It flows. Mm. Now, when you say it flows, is it flowing in both directions? Yes. Okay. So the, f the money is going to flow in and flow out. Yes. It won't be constipated. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So by being in joy, you allow it to just do its thing? Yes. Okay. Good. Anything else that you would like to tell her about her finances at this time? We have her back. You do? Good. Good. What about foster children? We now know why she is in the foster business. Can you give her some insights about that? Part of her path. Mm -hmm. Part of her family. Mm -hmm. And it now seems that these were the same people, the same children. Mm -hmm. from those other lives. Yeah. Are there many more to come? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Good. Yes. So can we request a guide to be able to help her remove the sadness and replace it with joy for these foster children that come into her life? Yes. Very good. Very good. Is there anything that she needs to know during this session that we She's haven't addressed? on the right track. She's on the right track. Anything that she needs to know about the upcoming changes of the earth, how that's going to help her? Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Okay, good. So, we know that she came here to learn to breathe, to connect with you more. Why did you bring her to this session at this time? She needed to let go of the sadness. Mm -hmm. Because if she came here on purpose to help other people release the sadness, she seemed to have been very full of sadness herself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that we have released that sadness, is there anything else that we need to release in her body? Let's take a look. Let's do a body scan and let's see what else we have in her body that perhaps needs tending to. Is there anything else? Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you now to go ahead and begin filling her body with this healing light and tell her what color light you'll be using in order to seal her from all that sadness and seal that joy in. Blue. Blue. 
Let's go ahead and see that blue going through all of your body. And tell me what that blue is doing for her body. Cleansing. Cleansing. Very good. Tell me when you're done. Very good. Is there anything that I didn't ask that you would like to tell her at this time? We love her. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there any message from anybody else? It is safe to trust. It's safe to trust. Okay, very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. That was good. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That really, really explained things so well. Yeah, I think it did. How does your body feel? Much lighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, much lighter. How long did the session feel? Uh, I don't know, maybe about 30 minutes or so. Yeah, we're on an hour. Mm. Took twice as long as you thought. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was much needed. Mm hmm It all fit together so perfectly. Yeah, interesting, huh? Yeah. It made so much sense. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to go home and clean my house now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it boy. Good. It was good. Do you want to share this? I don't know. What do you think? I thought it was great connection. I mean, it was short and sweet, but yeah. it really made sense Yeah, on how that those two past lives were so affecting yeah. you now. Even the fact that in this life, your, your whole life has been about fostering children. Yeah. You know, beginning with your parents, fostering so many babies, yeah. and you yeah. fostering. I mean, it seems like this was... This is where it came from. You didn't finish. You yeah. died not being able to finish to help those children. It's amazing. It's okay, so here we are in Miami, Florida. And how far did you travel to get here? Oh, uh, all the way from Nebraska. From Nebraska. So, Lee, this you had never been hypnotized before. No, this is my first time. So what did it feel like to you? Um, it was relaxing. Actually, mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. relaxing. It was just kind of like a, a journey, a little journey. Uh huh. And uh, when you were going through these experiences, did you feel the emotions? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And what about at the when we got out of the the life and you connected with your higher self? How did that feel? It was good. It was strong. Mm hmm. So you could see you had that strong inner voice. Yeah. And basically, your higher self just kept saying, just breathe. I'm here. <laughs> so you were yeah, actually shown definitely. how to breathe in in this session. Yeah. You were given that experience. What did you feel when you were given that breath to connect? It's just very freeing. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's just immediately centering. Yeah. Because we had talked about this before we started. We had talked about, you know, the fact that... Um, it's hard to meditate sometimes. And so now yeah. it's almost like this was almost like a little class. Yeah. 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 Did and it seem easier? Yeah. Mm hmm. It did seem easier and it seemed like so easy. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> how come I haven't thought of this yet? Just do it. It's, so, it's right there with you. You don't have to do anything. You, you don't have do to go anytime. anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this kind of changed everything. But I think the, um, you know, the emotions kind of hold you back from doing those things. Yeah. So now that the sadness is gone, I think yeah. it'll be easier to just do what I need to do. Yeah. And you're thinking of taking hypnosis classes yes. real soon. Yes. Uh, you're going to be taking the introspective hypnosis mm -hmm. class with Antonio Sanjo. Yeah. And uh, so um, you want to put, put out there how people can contact you, what your um, name is, so that they can... I don't have a website or anything yet because yeah. I haven't taken the class yet. But um, where are you located? 
I'm in Omaha. Omaha. Okay. So if you're in Omaha, Nebraska, I'm going to put a link as to where the practitioner's uh, page okay. is so that they can go ahead and contact Lee. And if you're there, you can do a session with her. She's going to need a lot of practice sessions. Yes. So sign up for practice sessions. Come on down for practice sessions. <laughs> yes. And she wants sure. to do it live. You know, she, she needs to use her hand. She needs to be, yes. th this is what her modality is, that she's going to be, th she needs to be with the person. Uh, not on Skype or anything. So yeah, yeah sign up to, to see Lee so you can practice doing these sessions. Yeah, It'll yeah. be fun. And That's if you would so, like, yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. And if you would like a I'm session with me, to. you can go to my website, albawyman.com. There is a link to go to the out of town page. Sign up for my newsletter, and about once a month, I send out a newsletter telling people where I'm going to be going to, and um, that's the only way to get lot of the sessions with me. Uh, when the session comes, when the newsletter comes out, click on those links. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. And you may have to wait a little bit, but it's it's really good. So I ho I hope you enjoyed this. I did. It was short and sweet, but Wonderful. man, it was powerful. Wonderful. Yeah, really. Yeah. Good. And thank you for your cat to helping too. Oh yes, my cat actually slept through the whole thing, yeah. and uh, he's he's enjoying the uh, the moment. So yeah, yeah, he was he was the little helper on the side. Yes, <laughs> I he's love he's that. <laughs> he's sleeping there. So uh, and and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I get to meet you too. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, Bye. Thank you. Give me that hug. <laughs>